What's up and welcome to the channel. Uh, if you were here for the last video, we talked about my Leica SL2S and why I chose that over the Canon R3. If you didn't see that video, I'll make sure to drop it below. Uh, in that video though, I talked about how poor the autofocus is in this camera for video, but I mentioned that it does work well for talking heads and videos like this. So I just wanted to demonstrate that it does work very well. Uh, here I'm using the SL2S with the Lumix 24-105 F4. Straight on audio is wireless from the Rode 2 straight into camera so the Leica SL2S is currently handling everything by itself. Um, I am monitoring this since it didn't have flip out screen with the Shinobi just below the screen here just so I could check that I'm in focus. I am and just I can also see my audio level so that's pretty handy between takes the autofocus will work well uh, once attached especially the subjects I can maybe chase my kid around or something for a little while and show you uh, it's not the stickiest but it's absolutely very usable um, so let's get to that now all right so the next day I am on my way to a photo shoot over in Blowing Rock, North Carolina and thought this would be a good time to grab the Leica out and show you why I don't use it in a vlog setting. I have no idea if this is working. Got my audio uh, ported in via my Deity D4 Duo. Uh, raging down the interstate. Uh, drive a Subaru Crosstrek, all-terrain tires, so it's a little loud. I'm speaking up a little bit. Hopefully that audio is working. Um, hopefully I'm even kind of in frame, um, probably not, that probably helped, <laughs> I was like 30 mil instead of 24, but uh, just want to show you the autofocus in a vlog type scenario, uh, next we'll have me behind the camera managing the autofocus. This might be a good test. I've shot a few things here, like the trickling water, some mic macro type stuff, just to show you that I've learned if you hold down the shutter button in the tracking autofocus mode, it actually does a good, pretty good job of sticking on. It does hunt a little bit. Um, that's just that contrast autofocus doing this thing. But I'm in this really interesting curve here on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, there's been some cool cars come through, but I've not got to them in time. I wanna shoot pretty wide. And try to track a couple of these vehicles. Um, the lighting's pretty spotty, some hot spots and some shade uh, to see if that gives us anything at all. And once again, hope I'm focused. Okay, last test. Uh, I realized that if I have the camera in tracking mode and either start the recording and then hold the shutter button or just hold the shutter button after recording, that it locks on pretty well to whatever I have it locked onto. I've not messed with the uh, autofocus speed or the tracking speeds yet to see if that makes a big difference. Uh, I mean, I did increase them a little bit overall, but like not today, I've not messed with any of them just to compare. Uh, that last shot that you just saw of the, uh, I can T-Rex, I think those things are called, going around the turn through the trees in HD 120 helped pretty good. I was pretty impressed, honestly. 